Hi friends, this is Rika. Welcome to this class. This class has a topic called Santosha, contentment. It's the second Niyama of the written text of the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. So it's a guideline how to act in this world as a yogi. So in today's world we have wishes, desires, we have fears and contentment or to be content means to stay in the present moment and not think about these desires, about these wishes or about what could happen next, whether it's positive or negative, that doesn't matter. Just stay here, stay with me and I invite you in this practice to really focus on yourself, focus on the present moment and yeah, let go of what happened before this class and uh, don't think about what will happen, a happen after this class. And yeah, try to be content with yourself in your surroundings um, throughout the practice. So we start this class in Sukhasana, easy pose. If you have some plugs, feel free to grab one or two. We might need them today. And in the beginning, we will sit on the plug or place your pelvic floor on top of it to elevate your hips a little bit. And then you really can lift through the crown. Your spine is really straight. Roll your shoulders back, place your hands on top of your thighs, palms facing downward, and then you can close down your eyes or soften your gaze. We will start with a short meditation to find our inner peace. So take several breaths here. Breathing fully into your tummy. And when you tune into your breath, release any tension within your body. Inhale and exhale, release, maybe opening your mouth. Inhale and exhale, release. Let all the tense energy within your body release out of your body. Inhale and release. Tune into your mind. And release any tension within your mind with your exhale. Inhale. And exhale, release. Inhale. And exhale, release. Release any thought that is not longer serving you right in this moment. Any thought about the past and any thought about the future. Bring your focus into that present moment. And maybe repeat after me to yourself. I choose to let go.
I choose to be in that present moment. I choose to have peaceful thoughts. Maybe repeat again, I choose to let go. I choose to be in that present moment. I choose to have peaceful thoughts. And then continue to sit up tall, lifting through the crown. Continue to listen to your breath and continue to let go of any tension within your body and within your mind. Inhale, exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, release. Use your breath to guide your attention inward. To listen to your inner peace. The peace within your body peace within your mind, the peace that comes with every inhale and that peace that is created with every exhale. Slowly find your way back to the room, your eyes closed. Take a few more deep inhales and releasing out of your mouth. And slowly start to peel open your eyes. Come back into the room, remove your plug from underneath your pelvic floor. Maybe roll your shoulders back one more time. And then Start to move your torso to the front, to the left, to the back, and to the right. Do these hip circles with your torso, moving from side to back, to side to front. Move in your own pace, so you can go smaller circles, a little bit faster, a little bit slower or really big circles. Whatever feels good for your body right now. And then change your direction.
Really listening to your breath and opening your chest when you come to the front, rounding your back when you're at the back. And then let your circles get smaller and smaller and find your way back onto your hips so that your spine is straight on your hips. And when you get there, find stillness again. Bring the soles of your feet together. Your knees are falling outward into Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose. Lift your arms up towards the ceiling, your shoulders stay down. And then with your exhale, fold over your thighs, keep reaching with your arms. Keep your neck in the extension of your spine. Really try to fold from your hips, not from your lower back. And keep reaching with your arms. One more breath here. Inhale, reach a little bit further. And then exhale, bring your elbows onto your thighs, your hands onto your feet. Fold over, maybe release your neck here. With your inhale, come back up into seated. Bring your knees together and then stretch your legs towards the side. So open up your legs into a wide legged stance. Your heels are pressing into the mat or into the floor. Your toes are pointing upwards, so your feet are flexed. Reach again your arms up towards the ceiling and then exhale, bend over your thighs. Again, keep reaching for one breath. Reach with your inhale and with your exhale, fold over your thighs or onto the mat underneath you. Your forearms come straight in front of you. Take a few breaths here, maybe rounding your spine, maybe releasing your neck. Or you can also keep them straight, whatever feels good for your body right now. Again, think about not being where you want to be, where your desire goes. Just be where your body wants to be. Turn off your thoughts for this practice and just do whatever your body asks you. And with your inhale, come back into an upright position. Bend your knees a little bit closer and then grab your big toes with your peace fingers and start lifting one leg, bend it back down, lift the other leg, bend it back down. Keep doing this for a few more switches. And then maybe you leave it there and then lift the other leg up. So you're in a wide-legged boat pose here. Lift your chest up so that your spine is straight. So you're creating a straight back here. Keep lifting through your spine. If this is not available, you can of course bend your knees and then stay here, looking up and to the front. One more breath. And then guide your legs together. Release your hands. Maybe bring your hands next to your body or reach them up parallel to your thighs. And then straighten your legs as well or keep your shins parallel to the mat. Again, whatever is comfortable for your body right now. Stay here. Three more breaths.
from here you lower your feet back onto the mat roll your back onto the mat and then do some spinal rolls here mobilizing your spine a little bit and roll as long as you need to come into your yogi squat malasana so your feet are in 45 degree angle heels pointing inward um, toes met with apart your hands come into your heart center your elbows guide your knees outward so that you straighten your back here take a few breaths here And then exhale, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Step back into Falakasana, high plank. Keep shifting to the front and to the back. Warming up your wrists and your feet. And then find stillness again. Your shoulders are above your wrists. Lower your knees down. Lower your chest and lower your chin. Scoop forward into baby cobra, lifting your chest and exhale, come into child's pose, ground your head, inhale, come onto your forearm, scoop to the front, into baby cobra, Bhujangasana variation, and then exhale, come back into child's pose, inhale, scoop to the front and exhale, shift back, inhale to the front. Lift only your chest as far as there you can lift your hands off the mat. So don't press yourself with your arms. And exhale, come into child's pose. One more like this. Inhale, come to the front. And exhale, come to child's pose. Tuck your toes under in. Lift your hips up into your downward facing dog. Do some steps if you want to walk your dog a little bit as this might be the first downward facing dog of today. Your shoulders are away from your ears. You're really lifting through your pelvic floor. So your navel can come to the back of your spine. Your ribs are tucked in. A few breaths here. With your inhale, lift your right leg up towards the sky. Open up your hip point, your foot, your shoulders stay squared. Draw some circles here with your knee. And then go into the other direction. Find stillness back in three-legged dog, Ekapada Adho Mukha Svanasana. And then exhale, bring your knee towards your nose towards your left elbow and then straighten your right leg through. Lift your left arm up into a fallen triangle here. You can look up or to the front. Inhale, lift your hips a little higher and then exhale. Place your hand back underneath your shoulder. Step back into high plank. You can do one, one vinyasa here, either knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra, or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. From here, lower your elbows onto the mat, so you are on your forearms in dolphin pose. Ara pincha mayugasana. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Stay here for a breath. And exhale it back down. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And exhale it back down. Inhale, lift your elbows. Lower your knees and come into child's pose. One breath here. Inhale, scoop towards the front, into baby cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, baby cobra. And exhale, child's pose. One more, inhale, baby cobra. 
and exhale. Child's pose, tuck your toes under and lift your pelvis up into downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Three more breaths here. Inhale, lift your left leg up, straight towards the sky. Your heel is pointing towards the ceiling, toes pointing towards the mat. Bend your knee and draw some hip circles here. Keep your shoulders squared and then change the direction. Straighten your leg towards the back again. Inhale here and exhale, knee to nose. Knee to right elbow, straighten your leg into a fallen triangle. Lift your right arm up. Exhale, come back into center. Your right arm comes underneath your shoulder. Step back into high plank. From here, come directly into downward facing dog or do your vinyasa. Inhale, lift your right leg up, bend your knee, open your hip, and then exhale. Knee to nose, knee to left elbow, straighten your right leg through into fallen triangle again. Inhale here, and then exhale, come back to center. Bring your right foot on the outside of your right hand into lizard pose. You can stay on your fingers or on your hands, maybe shift from front to back a little bit. If you want, you can lower your elbows onto the mat if you can keep a straight back here. Or you can also use your blocks to place your forearms on top of them. And then bring your hands to prayer. Keep your back leg strong and straight. So all five toes are on the mat, you're really lifting through your kneecap. Inhale here and exhale, lower your knee onto the mat. If you had your blocks, remove them, place your left hand back onto the mat and your right hand guides your right knee outward. So you're really opening your hip here. You can also look towards the right and open your chest a little bit. Again, keep your toes tucked to support your knee and to keep your legs straight. And then come back to center, bring your knee back over your ankle and lift your back knee. Pivot your front foot into center again. Lift your back foot off the mat. Bring your hands in front of you and then keep lifting your leg into a standing split here. Keep bringing your torso towards your standing leg, releasing your neck. Maybe you can release one hand and grab your ankle or your shin. Or maybe you can grab your left foot with your left hand, lifting your upper body up a little bit. Inhale, get a little bit higher. And then exhale, release your leg next to your right leg into Uttanasana, forward fold. Maybe grab your ankles and bring yourself a little bit closer to your thighs. And with your next exhale, place your hands underneath your shoulders. Step back into high plank. 
do one vinyasa or come directly into your downward facing dog. Lower your elbows onto the mat so that your forearms are on the mat in dolphin pose. Walk your feet towards your elbows as close as you can and then take two steps to come into forearm plank. Again, walk your hands towards the front, lifting your hips up and then step back with two steps into forearm plank. One more time, walk towards the front and then step back. Lower your knees on the mat and bring your knees mat width apart or wider, whatever is available, come into frog pose. Your knees are 90 degrees so that your ankles are underneath your knees. Your feet are flexed. Stay here for three breaths. And then come onto your hands, lift yourself up into high plank and all the way into your downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up, open up your hip and then bring your knee towards your chest, step through into fallen triangle on this side, reach your right arm up and then exhale, bring your hand back onto the mat and step your left Put on the outside of your left hand. Stay here or come onto your forearms. Again, you can use your plugs if you want. Try to keep your knee above your ankle so you're not clapping out here yet. Strong legs, strong knees, strong back. Lower your back knee and then come back onto your hands. Place your left hand onto your left thigh and open up your hip here. Maybe open your chest towards the left as well. Inhale, come back to center. And then lift your back leg up again, pivot your front foot into the center, lift your back leg up, walk your hands a little bit further to the front, come into standing split on this side. Maybe you want to grab your ankle or maybe you want to grab your right foot with your right hand and straighten your back a little bit upward. One more breath wherever you are. And release your leg next to your left leg and then come into Uttanasana forward fold. Again, maybe you can grab your ankles and bring yourself a little bit closer towards your thighs. With your next inhale, place your hands underneath your shoulders. Exhale, step back into high plank, Falakasana. Do your vinyasa or come directly into your downward facing dog. Lower your elbows onto the mat, so you're on your forearms and start walking towards your elbows again. Take two steps to come back into forearm plank and start walking your feet back to the front, lifting your hips, step back into forearm plank. And one more time, start walking towards your elbows and step back 
into forearm wheel. Lower your knees and bring your knees mat width or a little bit wider apart into frog pose. Stay here for three breaths. And if you want, you can now move into Pincha or come back into your downward facing dog. Then move into Dolphin Pose, Ada Pincha Mayurasana, and then start lifting one leg at a time. Otherwise, stay with me and bring your legs back into center, your hands underneath your shoulders, step back into Falakasana High Plank and all the way into your downward facing dog. From here, step or jump towards the front of your mat. Bring your feet mat with apart, your heels slightly inward and come into your yogi squat again. Hands in prayer pose, guide your knees outward. Inhale here, straighten your back a little bit more and then exhale, sit back down behind you. Come directly into boat pose, again with straight legs or with bent legs. Your arms are parallel to your thighs. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one, and then bring your toes closer to your upper body, grab your big toes with your peace fingers again, and then straighten your legs towards the sides into your wide-legged boat pose. If you remember the beginning, we are reversing our little flow One more breath here. And then you can lower one knee at a time onto the mat and then straighten one leg at a time. Come into wide legged forward fold. So reach up your arms and exhale, reach to the front and place your forearms wherever they land. Maybe you want to keep reaching towards the front a little bit. Maybe you have your blocks somewhere near and you can place your forehead onto the blocks. Or maybe onto one block. Or maybe you can release yourself all the way onto the mat. But don't release your legs, so keep your heels pressing into the mat, your toes pointing upward. And then take one more breath here, remove your block and walk your hands back towards the center. Place your hands underneath your knees, bring your feet back together, the soles of the feet touching, come into your Bada Konasana, butterfly pose. Again, lift your arms up and reach towards the front. Keep reaching here for three, two, one, and release over your 
thighs, your elbows can come onto your thighs, your hands onto your feet. Release your neck, maybe shake it from side to side a little bit, maybe not. And then get, guide your right arm onto your left knee and reach your left arm up into this little twist. Inhale, come a little bit higher and exhale, switch. Your left arm comes onto your right knee, your right arm comes up. Inhale, come a little bit higher and then exhale, release, both arms crossed for one more breath here. And then inhale, come back to center, guide your knees back towards each other and then come seated onto your heels. Bring your heels a little bit wider than your buttocks and come seated in between your heels. If this is uncomfortable for your knees, you can either take your knees a little bit wider apart or sit onto a plug, place your other plug behind you and then release yourself onto the plug so that your upper back is on the plug. Your head can lower down and maybe you want to reach your arms above your head Take a few breaths here, really opening up your chest, inviting all the peace into your heart. One more breath here. And bring your hands back onto the bed underneath you and scoop yourself up into an upright position. Remove the plug from underneath you and then bring your legs towards the front. You can either come back into butterfly legs or Badakonasana or you straighten your legs to the front. And then you place your plug in this T and come lying onto the plugs. Your neck is on or your back of the head is on one plug, the other plug is underneath your back. And then you release your legs down, you release your arms open next to your body, palms facing up. Again, take some deep breaths, releasing any tension within your body. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Release any tension within your body. Release any tension within your mind. Curl your toes. And release. Squeeze your legs. And release. Pull your butt cheeks together. And release. Into your fists and release. 
tighten your arms and release. Pull in your stomach. Release. Take a breath to tighten your breath, your breast. And release. Raise your shoulders. Release. Lift your eyebrows and release. Shift your jaw from side to side and release. Lift your cheeks, purse your mouth, release. Draw your attention back inward. Pull all your fears, all your desires, all your passion from your pelvis all the way up into your heart. Become aware of your inner world. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale and exhale, let it go. Start to come back to your breath, to the movement of your breath. Start to move your fingers, your toes. Start to rotate your hands and your feet. Remove your blocks from underneath you if you had them there. Stretch your arms above your head, maybe reaching from side to side, reaching up or towards the back of your mat, your toes towards the front, and then roll onto one side, maybe bringing your knees towards your chest. Stay here for a few breaths. For one more moment in your inner peace. Feel the peace in your surroundings, in your mind, in your body, on your mat. Dwell in it for a few more seconds. And when you're ready then, use one hand to press you up into a comfortable seated position. 
Bring your hands towards your chest. Slightly nod your head towards your fingertips. I invite you to thank yourself for taking the time to thank your body for moving, to thank your mind for focusing. Namaste.